Greetings, fellow thick lovers. Lance here. Well, after finding that Brabo on the Nebo and doing a fig tasting, I decided to walk my orchard, see what other Brabos we might find. And it didn't take me long. <laughs> this is my Brooklyn Dark mother tree. And it's been in ground for a few years. And there was one real obvious Brava right up here. Probably a little dark to see. And I was feeling it. And it's definitely soft. Oh, it looks a little open. But let's go ahead and pick it. Oh, pretty. Definitely bigger than the main crop I typically get. But my fig trees are growing like gangbusters this year. Figs are coming out a lot faster than I've seen in the past. So let's put this bad boy in the scale. So let's take a closer look at the eye. Kind of hard to see out here in the sun, but hopefully you get a good, good view there. It does look uh, open, maybe conical. But we'll slice her up here, see what she looks like inside. Well, I forgot to put it on the scale first. So let's see if we can put, fit both of these pieces on here. Get a good weight. Oh, I need to put them on too quick. Forty and a half grams. And as you can see already, we have a cavity. And this almost looks like uh, some of the Smyrnas that haven't been caprified. Not really a whole lot of seeds. And the ones that are here are really small. And it doesn't look all that rich. Not a lot of red, just a little bit of red down in here. Mostly amber. I probably would have let this hang for another day or two, but I'm just so busy with getting fig trees in the ground right now that I, I thought I'd take advantage of the opportunity while I could. I don't have a lot of high hopes for the flavor on this just because of the color. It does look fairly juicy out here, maybe a little dry in here. But I'm curious, let's see how it goes. Well, I can't say that I'm disappointed. That was a lot sweeter than I expected. I fully anticipated the melon flavor, which to me is not a bad flavor. Some people seem to think it's not all that appealing, but I enjoy it. This is definitely a lot more refreshing than a main crop fig. I did get a slight hint of berry, very light berry, but mostly uh, a melony flavor and even this honey flavor. And uh, it's not a bad fig. Um, it's nothing like the main crop, which is much more rich. But uh, let's try this second half here. Well, pretty good. I, th I think we're just having an exceptional season for Brabus, because that's a pretty good fig for a Brabus as well. I, you know, I just did the, the Nebo tasting, and that was just a really, really good fig for a Brabus. And this one turned out to be pretty doggone good too. Not really, um, unlike the Nebo, which was almost identical to the main crop. This is very, very different. Definitely a lot lighter, but still a very good fig. So there you have it, the fig tasting on the Brooklyn Dark Brabant.